hey guys welcome back to tamara's recipe so today i want to show you how i make these soft sugar donuts this is my second time making it and as you know guys i'm not a professional but i want to share this recipe with you guys so please don't bash me guys remember practice becomes perfect so that's what i am doing so if you enjoyed this video please remember to give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't yet done so and turn on all notifications so you not miss any of my upcoming videos here i am adding a large egg into the bowl afterwards i'm going to add half a cup of lukewarm water to ensure that the water isn't hot because you don't want to kill your yeast you can also use milk but i chose to use water today I am going to add a quarter cup of sugar. I'm using brown sugar, light brown sugar. You can also use granulated sugar. Afterwards, I'm going to add a tablespoon of yeast. I'm using instant yeast. So if you were using the, the active yeast, then you would have to proof it first. All right. So afterwards, I'm going to add a quarter cup of oil. I'm using vegetable oil. Then I'm going to add my flour and my salt. So remember you don't add the salt on the yeast, alright? So you don't want your salt to kill the yeast. So I'm using a spatula to mix, to combine the ingredients together to form the dough. But if you like, you can always use a stand mixer or an electric mixer. I can even use your hands. So honestly, I don't like to feel the flour on my hands. That's why I use the spatula. Because you know, as you can see, the dough is soft. So you know, it'll be all sticky and gooey on my hands. I don't like it. But if you want to use your beer hand, go ahead and use it, alright? So, I am finished making the dough. So what I'm going to do now is to spread a little all-purpose flour on a cutting board. Afterwards, I am going to place the dough on it. So you can always use any clean surface you want to use. So if you don't have all purpose flour, you can use bread flour if you have it. So at this point, I'm going to knead the dough for about 10 to 12 minutes or until it becomes stretchy and smooth so when you stretch the dough is supposed it should not tear right so if it is very sticky then you can always sprinkle a little flour on top of it so if you have a bench scraper it will be work much better because you know at times the flour will stick on the surface so you just kind of scrape it and then you knead again but i don't have one so i'm using a knife So this is the correct way to knead the dough. You move forward and backward. So if it is a bit sticky on your hands, then you can always grease your hands. So you know when I grease your hands, the flour will not stick on it. So that's what I did. And as you can see, my hands are not sticky with the flour. And it is much easier to knead when you oil it. So the dough is getting smooth and stretchy so I'm going to knead for a few more minutes and then I am done. So when I am finished I will show you. So this is how it's supposed to look guys. As you can see it is very stretchy and when I stretch it it is not tearing. So I'm going to just form it into a bowl, into a ball I should say. So you can use the same bowl that you need the dough in or if you want to change it. So I'm going to apply a little oil into the bowl and i'm going to grease it because you know when the dough proofing you don't want it to stick to the bowl so i'm going to grease the dough as well After afterwards i'm going to cover the dough with a clean cloth or you can use plastic crap and let it proof for about 60 to 90 minutes or until it double or triples in size so here i covered mine i lost the, the clip right there So now I'm checking on my dough. So as you can see, it has tripled in size. So I am going to punch the ear out of it. I 
I added a little all-purpose flower on the surface. Afterwards, I'm going to use a rolling pin to roll the door. To flatten the door, I should say. So, with the rolling pin, I am going to apply some flower on it as well. So that it doesn't stick while I am rolling. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Take care guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.